first of all, let us discuss, what a square is. A square is, a shape with four equal sides, and four corners, that are all right angles, or 90 degrees. The shape of a square, can be seen in the figure, shown in this slide. Let us call the side, as, N. We may have already known that, the area of square, can be calculated as, side, times, side. Or, N, times, N. The formula can also be stated as, N square. The question is, how we prove the fact that, the area of square is, side, times, side. This will be discussed, throughout the video. So, stay tuned, and please subscribe. First, before we prove, the area of square. We need to know, the axioms of area. An axiom is, a postulate, or an assumption, taken as premise. There are, three axioms, regarding area of surface, or shape. Axiom number one. The area of, unit square, is defined to be, one square unit. A unit square, is, a square with, a side of one unit length. As shown in the figure. Actually, the area of a unit square, can be proven, using calculus, which was developed by, Isaac Newton, around the 17th century. On the other hand, the postulation of this axiom, was developed, in the era of, ancient Greece. Thus, the discussion using calculus, is for another day. Axiom number two. Firstly, let a surface, be divided into, a finite number of, smaller, non-overlapping surfaces. Secondly, let the smaller surfaces, cover the entire, larger surface. Then, the sum of the areas, of the smaller surfaces, equals the area of, the larger surface. This can be confirmed also, from the figure, shown in this slide. Axiom number 3. Equal surfaces, have equal areas. As can be understood from the diagram, the two rectangles, shown here, are the same rectangle, despite the fact that, the two rectangles, face different direction. Thus, the two rectangles, have the same area. As can be understood, from the three axiom, calculating the area of a surface, is actually, comparing the area of such surface, with, the area of, unit square. This can be understood, from the figure. Having understood that, let us prove, the area of a square. First, let us see, square number one, whose sides are, one unit length, as shown in the diagram. Then, as can be understood from the diagram, by counting the number of, unit square, inside square number one, therefore, the area of square number one, is, one unit square. Secondly, let us see, square number two, whose sides are, two unit length, as shown in the diagram. Then, as can be understood from the diagram, by counting the number of, unit square, inside square number two, therefore, the area of square number two, is, four unit square. Thirdly, let us see, square number three, whose sides are, three unit length, as shown in the diagram. Then, as can be understood from the diagram, by counting the number of, unit square, inside square number three, therefore, the area of square number 3, is, 9 unit square. Fourthly, let us see, square number 4, whose sides are, 4 unit length, as shown in the diagram. Then, as can be understood from the diagram, by counting the number of, unit square, inside square number 4, therefore, the area of square number 4, 
is 16 units square. Next, let us collect all the data up until this point into the following table. Using this data, we can extract the pattern of number which regulates the relation between side of a square and area of the square. Then, from the pattern of number, we find out that the area of a square is actually the multiplication of its two sides. In other words, the area of a square is side times side. This becomes the proof of the area of a square. Please support us by buying our books or by donation through Patreon and PayPal. The links are provided in the description. For systematic learning, please visit our website, or by reading our books. Our books can be obtained, in electronic medium, and as printing books. You can send the books as gifts, for your beloved ones. Do not forget also to subscribe,